Hey everyone, John Runner 88 here with another Star Wars toy review. Um, it is the Vintage Collection again because that is the only, well, I collect only uh, 3.75 inch figures or 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, whatever you want to call them. Um, they all vary in height anyway, so. Um, but yeah, this is Ahsoka. Ahsoka Tano her card. I know lots of people like seeing that. I wish it was a little more realistic looking. Um, it still has kind of like that cartoony sheen to it. Um, as opposed to the Darth Maul card back where that, that looks very much like a more realistic rendition. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we got Ahsoka Tano, Mandalore. Sorry, it's at a little bit of an angle. I don't feel like moving stuff. Um, Clone Wars logo, which is VC202. <clears throat> Wish she was VC200 instead of the Emperor coming out, but, you know. It's, uh, can't be too picky. We're always very picky, but doesn't matter how picky we are. Hasbro doesn't listen too much, but, however, this wave of figures, um, very rarely do I pick up a whole wave of figures, and this Ahsoka Mall wave, um, I had to get all of them. There's like no, no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, got our droid over there, keeping her company. Um, but just a fantastic figure. Um, I got her from Target. Um, Pre-order was canceled at one point, and I put it back in. Um, it popped up like later that day because they love doing that at Target and Walmart. Um, neither of them are um, great places to pre-order from unfortunately um but as long as you keep up on your pre-orders and make sure like if they get canceled to just keep on top of it also if it gets delayed to approve delays so it doesn't just randomly get canceled as well um but yeah this is a fantastic figure right out of the box um no stiff joints was just moving perfectly like um you know she's got everything rocker ankles which is like the the standard now with all new releases, which is cool. Um, her head sculpt is fantastic. Um, the only issue um, is that this is a different piece. Um, and I've, I actually, when I went and picked up the other figures um, at Walmart um, one morning, I looked at the Ahsokas there and I passed on them because this side of the headdress was like, it was like, it wasn't f like flush with like her forehead. It was like, um, peeling up a little bit just because it was like not put on properly um, and with this there's a the tiniest little like gap you can't even really see it it looks more like a shadow um, <clears throat> but you know it could be the tiniest bit forward um, to really make it perfect but other than that her face looks great sorry it's not the best lighting but um, Thankfully, the one that came in the mail. Um, I usually don't like getting figures in the mail unless it's like a trooper or something. Um, because I like to make sure that the faces look good on them. Thankfully, she came in looking good. All of her face markings were in um, the right place. Her eyes weren't wonky. Lip printing is good. I noticed on some of them there's a little bit of um, like runoff on some of the edges. I don't like that. R2 on her arm right there. I don't know why they printed that on the front, but whatever. I'm sure it could be filed down or something, considering it's cast in orange. Um, the upper part of her arm. But yeah, she's got just the detail all over her is great. Um, and this, the little, like, armor pieces down here are nice easy to move like rubber piece so they're not going to be getting in the way of any of the articulation because she's got the you know thigh swivels and everything up there so she can get into like like you can really get her pretty much any pose you want to get her in for the uh she because she's like probably one of the most acrobatic characters we've ever had in star wars and being in animation, she's able to really 
do like some pretty incredible things like you know back like back handsprings and everything um back flips just just getting going all over the place doing some sweet moves and this figure with the only thing she's lacking is just some wrist um articulation you know the up downs the in and outs um but that's just because she's such a thin figure um that would just be they'd just be snapping off um and then the only other issue is i don't like um like my one gripe is i wish they just didn't put this little like paint app here just left it like all bare and it doesn't sit like all the way in i know i've seen some people do like you know figure hacks or whatever where you can pop that out and like kind of trim it a little bit and make it sit in there a little more flush um it's not very noticeable though when like her arms are down and stuff and it, i mean it's not that noticeable at all but um and i feel like if you did do that it might take away from a little bit of the um range of motion that she gets but um eventually down the line i might do that but i was just having too much fun just posing with her um that i didn't even you know want to take the time to do that um <clears throat> but um this is her other vintage collection counterpart um as you can see much <laughs> There's much to be desired with that head sculpt. It's lit nowhere, there's no comparison. Um, this is all like molded, one molded piece. This is the two separate pieces. Um, you know, it's two different um, points in her life. I think this one's actually probably stand up a little straighter, but um, <clears throat> the old one, the previous one's a little taller, it looks like, but we don't need that one anyway. Um, it's a nice little figure, um, but this is, if you don't have this, <laughs> go get it. You need this Ahsoka figure. Um, oh yeah, the only one other issue is I really wish it came with, um, saber hilts. Um, just because, like this, like, like Ahsoka looks great with her hilts on her, like, hips or her belt. And it would have looked great with, um being able to put them just like the black series version you can put them on her hips um and it just you know makes a nice like silhouette for the character and stuff um <clears throat> yeah you get this uh get out of there old ahsoka we've upgraded and it is a glorious upgrade just a fantastic figure um the waves hitting stores right now um if you can get online look at like um, I use BrickSeek for Walmart. Um, just check your stores um, when they, you know, look for the assortment um, SKU number. And just watch the stores counts. Um, see where they are. Kind of get a baseline of, like, where they are a certain day. Um, and also you can keep track, like, look, um, keep track of, like, places like, um, Yak Face on Instagram, they're a pretty good resource as far as, like, when figures start popping up, um, across the country, um, kind of see when, you know, if something's in, like, California, it's probably going to take a couple weeks until it gets over to the East Coast, um, and I know it can be a little frustrating and stressful being like, oh, the fig figures are popping up everywhere, they're not popping up everywhere, it's, um, it takes a while for the shipments to, because they don't wait till everything is across the country to start sending them to the stores. They um, <clears throat> they definitely just uh, you know, get the product in, send it to the store as quick as possible from the warehouses, and they pop up all random times all over the place. So, so yeah, keep track of like what your store has, and then. You know, if it, uh, say one day it's got, like, the store says it's got, like, you know, between, on Brickseek it'll be, like, between, like, two and three, um, figures in stock or whatever. And just keep, like, checking and check some other stores in your areas. 
and then it'll be like, oh, six plus, and that usually means that there's a case that's been put out. Um, and, you know, talk to the employees there, be like, hey, when do you stock a, when do your store stock? Does it stock when, when the truck comes in? Do you do it overnight? Um, some stores are open 24-7 for Walmart, and I'm sure some targets somewhere are like that as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, for me, I um, not for this figure in particular, but for the Wave, um, I was watching Walmart, um, saw that their stock went up, went, went that night, um, but they don't stock until um, they stocked overnight. So I went back first thing in the morning when they opened up and was able to get a, I got Echo Mall and a Jawa um, first thing in the morning. So just got to be diligent. Um, I prefer getting figures in store. It's the hunt, the thrill. Um, and... Also, I like to inspect the figures, just like, um, I lucked out getting her in the mail with the paint apps being as on point as they are. Um, and like I said, if I had gotten the the ones at Walmart that I saw that had the, the headpiece, like, lifted up on the side, I would have been very frustrated and would have been returning that. Um, but yeah, that's Ahsoka Tano, the vintage collection, um, fantastic figure. If you don't have her, or if you're like, eh, I don't know if I want to get her or not, stop, stop saying that and just go get her, find her, order online if you can, um, absolutely worth it, um, one of the best figures they've ever come out with in the vintage collection, if you ask me, um, but yeah, with all that, thank you for watching everybody, like, subscribe if you want, um, leave some comments, I'm always willing to answer some questions about, like, stuff I like to collect, what I think about certain figures, um, figures that I might be getting in the future or what I'm thinking about getting. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Bye guys.